It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the time when we crown the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof of the year, 2022 to be exact. This is the C922. Let's go through all the details, review it, find out why this might be one of the best batches in a while, and then blind it against A and B of this year. It's gonna be a fun one. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mash and Drum and welcome back to the show. With three releases a year, you guys have heard me talk about all the details and history of this bottle, so here is the short version. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is the cast rank 12 year old version of Heaven Hill's popular Elijah Craig Small Batch. Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof's first release was back in 2013 out of the gift shop before turning into the beloved bourbon known for its high age, high proof and fairly accessible uh, thanks to being released three times a year with an MSRP around 70 bucks. I think the reason why this bottle is so beloved is because there are some releases each year of these that can go head to head and even be better than most of these special releases with higher price points that seem to come out every other day. So let's see if C922 falls in that category. But before we do that, let's make a new bourbon cocktail with today's sponsor for this video, Shaker and Spoon. I am loving these bourbon cocktails from Shaker and Spoon. Uh, Shaker and Spoon is the must-have cocktail subscription service that teaches you to make high-end bar quality cocktails from recipes designed by award-winning mixologists. Each of these boxes get built around one singular spirit, which includes all the ingredients other than the alcohol for about 12 cocktails, three recipes total, about four cocktails from each recipe. This one is centered around bourbon, everything you need, syrups, bitters, garnishes, and specialty syrups that all come inside, all made in-house by Shaker and Spoon. If you're a novice at making cocktails, have no fear, in the box you get these recipe cards that guide you through step-by-step -step crafting each cocktail in super great detail. The glassware you need, I'm telling you, anyone can make and enjoy these high-end cocktails. Let's make the next bourbon cocktail called the Kalusa Hachi. All right, so I already have two ounces of my bourbon in the glass. Next thing I'm gonna need is a half ounce of lemongrass, ginger, lemon syrup. Let's do it. Lemongrass, ginger, lemon syrup. It smells delicious. All right, that's going right in there, half an ounce. Two dashes, not drops of these smoked orange bitters. One, two. Then lastly, two ounces of this fresh, sparkling orange refresher. Next, add some crushed ice, give it a quick stir. And then because I just wanna make it fancy, a tiny cocktail umbrella. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Man, that just like takes you back to summer. The orange, you get the smoke orange in there a little bit too. The bourbon in there obviously comes through with the vanilla and the caramel. And then I think the thing that makes it, it's this lemongrass ginger lemon syrup. It absolutely takes it to another level. All right, so quick recap. Shaker and Spoon will send these boxes to you with everything you need other than the alcohol. Each box has three recipes with enough ingredients for 12 total cocktails. To get them, click the link below in the description and use the code Mash and Drum at checkout for $20 off your first box. Now go order your first box and enjoy these amazing cocktails. Cheers. All right, so the first thing everyone wants to know usually for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof releases is what's the proof? This one comes in at 124.8. My favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof releases are usually in the 120s. Some folks want those 130 or hazmat proofs, but I kind of like them in that low to mid 120s as they can bring massive flavor without setting your mouth on fire. As always, this is cast strength, 12 years old, non-chill filtered, MSRP, about 70 bucks. All right, we're diving right in, guys. Here we go. All right, so since I poured this on my live stream uh, just this past Wednesday, this has gotten very fruit forward, cherry, but there's a lot of oak. It's got cherry cordial, chocolate. Man, super sweet oak too. I like the proof because it doesn't overpower, you know, the experience at all. That's why I kind of like them in that mid to 120s. There's some really deep rich flavors here. Obviously you're gonna get that, that high impact vanilla extract. It's got like a burnt caramel note to it a little bit as well. But that chocolate covered cherry note that's popping through is the bee's knees right there. Man, it's got like this uh, this flat cherry cola note, I think, even more than the chocolate. Maybe that's what it is, more of a cola. All right, well, it smells freaking delicious and I can't wait to put this head to head against the A and the B, so let's try it, here we go. Great spice on this one. It's definitely more oak forward. 
the cherry is definitely coming out more that cola note like the flat cherry cola a lot of spice here on the back end of this really good rye spice and that was the first sip and I like that this was my first sip of the day and this didn't just like completely blow out my palate but man flat cherry coca-cola a lot of spice though man the finish on this is killer um, but again I think all the oak is up front plays really sweet I mean the only negative I could give this is that right at the mid palate it gets a little bit thin and it kind of shoots through your palate pretty quickly but once it hits the the back palate it gets to the finish long lingering heavy spice cola cherry again more of that sweet oak profile this kind of takes me back to some older batches that I've had which I think I said on Wednesday night as well where uh, you know getting into those batches from like 2018 19 and 20 where it's a little bit more oak forward a little bit deeper richer a little bit layered a little bit more layered in flavor than some of the recent batches um, I mean let's face it all the batches are solid doesn't really matter what they are what the stats are it really just depends on what you like and I think that's the beauty of trying to get one of these you know maybe three times a year yeah heavy vanilla burnt caramel cherry cola a lot of spice on the back end and nice sweet oak throughout the whole experience this feels like a 12 year old bourbon I mean you could make the argument it could be 10 11 12 it's not heavy oak but it's not also but it's not drying either it doesn't dry out your palate there's just the right amount of oak to go with that sweetness but it just feels a little bit darker and richer than some of the you know previous batches but with that said we got to put it to the test so I am going to set up the blind Elijah Craig Barrel Proof 2022 ABC. Here we go. All right, guys, here it is, all three Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Uh, I've mixed them up. Let's mix them up just a little bit more. I'm going to try to do this without doing any uh, cuts or edits. You'll just see me kind of run right through them and pick my, uh, pick my favorite. So I'm going to go one, two, three here, and we'll start with the nose and see what nose I prefer. Then we'll go to the palate and see who wins. So here we go. See, this one is coming off a little bit more youthful. I'm getting a little bit of a brighter caramel. I'm not getting, you know, I'm like kind of going off the memory of the C922 that we just had. This one just seems a lot brighter, a little bit more sweet. Like instead of the burnt caramel, I feel like it's, it's lighter caramel. All right, let's go to the second one here. Man, this one I'm not getting really much off of. What's going on here? Kind of along the same lines, a little bit sweet, but hmm. Oak. It's kind of crazy when you go back and forth. Man, this nose is just kind of really punching out of the glass while the second one here. Oh, there it is. All right, a little bit more oak. And the vanilla and the spice is just coming out strong in that one. Let's go to the third one. Wow, and then this nose is just, that is, wow, that is sweet. That is like pure vanilla extract, vanilla frosting, creme brulee with some caramel on it. Wow, okay. Yeah, this one has more of the oak. This, this second one's got more of the oak presence. Again, a little bit more of that cherry. Maybe that's the, the C. This one's a lot brighter. When you compare, when you go down the line on all three of these, A is the brightest, so it seems like, I mean, I know there's a 12-year age statement on it, but it's actually coming off a little bit more youthful. Uh, the middle one, it's probably the darkest, and then this one is easily the sweetest. This is candy in a glass. All right, let's try the first one. Man, the first one has some bite. This one is just all spice, vanilla. A lot of spice though. This one almost gets into almost like a rye category where you get a lot of the spice, get some of the, um, there's almost like a mintiness to it on the back end of that. Also, again, the lighter caramel flavors, you get some oak, but it's just coming off a little bit more, 
I don't know, it comes off a little bit more youthful, which has been kind of my concern with some of the later, uh, the later batches of a Logitech Brow Proof. Yeah, it's good, it's solid. It's almost, it's, it's getting a little bit more in the peanut category, which is something you get from Heaven Hill, a little bit of a roasted peanut. But again, not off-putting. It's a good solid, uh, good solid bourbon. Let's go into the second one here. I definitely like the second one over the first one. Second one is darker, richer. More going on, dark fruit forward. Much longer finish. More layered, oh man, that is really just coating the whole back of the palate. Again, a little bit more oak forward. That could be the sea batch maybe, because we just tried it. And then this last one, it's hard for me to kind of distinguish which one these two could be, but I could be completely wrong. You never know in blinds. All right. Again, pretty sweet on the palate. Good sweet palate on that one. It's spicy, but yeah, a lot more candy forward. Yeah, that's nice. This is like a sweeter caramel, a sweeter vanilla. It brings good spice as well, but hmm, I, I don't know. I'm not sure which one I like more. Kind of going back and forth between one and three here. I think three is the sweetest, which isn't a bad thing with the last great brow proof. Coming off of that one, I think this first one is probably the least interesting for me. It's coming off the most youthful. It's coming off I don't know, just a little bit astringent as well, especially compared to the other two. Back to the middle one. Yeah, I love the middle one. I think because the middle one just has more layers of flavor to it, it's darker, it's a little bit richer. But these two are pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna put number one as my last place. I'm gonna put number two, I think, in my first place, just as, I mean, but the third one is close. I'm gonna put the third one as a second place, but it's it's a lot closer to number one than uh, than the last one is here, because the last one's pretty far off for me compared to the other two. So um, let's see uh, who wins before I fall off my chair. <laughs> All right, last place. This is the biggie. Here we go. What got last for me? And this one goes to. A Logic Brow Proof A122, 120.8 proof. That did not surprise me the way it was drinking because I remember when I had A122, it just didn't seem, it just seemed like it was missing something for me. It had a lot of spice, it had a lot of punch and oomph to it, but it was missing some layers of flavor and it was actually coming off a little bit younger to me than 12 years old. Now you could have told me that was a six to eight year old bourbon, I probably would have believed you. All right, now it comes down to uh, the top two here. Let's see what the middle one is. Wait, what? No way. All right. All right. That. <laughs> See, this is why you blind. I thought that was C. And you know what it is? It's the B batch. B batch coming in at 121 on the dot. The C batch coming in at 124.8 was my second place one. What? This sea batch, on the nose, all of a sudden it came through really sweet. But on the palate, man, the B batch. The sweet, the spice, giving me all the things. Holy shit. I totally, based on my first, uh, based on my first taste of C, I really thought I was gonna easily win. But the B batch, the under, the underrated batch, I apologize to batch B, because I thought it was kind of a disappointment when I first tried it. But man, it has opened up really nicely. It's giving, giving a lot of flavors, a lot of sweet. It's layered, it's a little bit oaky. 
It's got, wow, okay. Elijah Craig B-Batch, son of a bitch. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Elijah Craig Brow Proof C922 as we uh, put it through its paces, put it against A and B and B522 coming out on top in a surprise upset. Wow, I'm still kind of floored by it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. If you guys have had all three and have blinded it so far, let me know what were the results for you. Always curious to hear what you guys think. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Cheers, guys.